In this episode, we will discuss the secret wealth meditation strategies that are encoded in sacred ancient texts. Now, in the Bible, we are provided a secret message of how to hear God's voice and get ideas and revelations and answers to your questions. The New King James Version of 1 Kings 19, 11 through 12 says, the Lord passed by and a great and strong wind tore into the mountains and broke the rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind and after the wind an earthquake but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still small voice. The Talmud, Barakoth 58a, decodes this message. God's revelation was specifically at the moment of silence. Psalms 65.2 is an important verse that is routinely mistranslated in many Bibles. Now in Hebrew, it literally reads, for you, silence is praise. Now the Message Bible reads correctly, silence is praise to you. Hearing God's voice, getting ideas or great revelations is not going to be a big cinematic event like it's usually portrayed in the movies and on TV shows. Ideas and revelations come specifically at moments of silence and stillness, like during meditation. In the Talmud, we learn that the sages would be still one hour prior to each of the three prayer services, then pray for one hour, and afterwards be still again for one hour more. That's Barashat 32b. Now, a variety of approaches to meditation exist, and therefore select one type of meditation that you find appealing and practice it daily. Now, some of the major methods of wealth meditations and connecting with God that can be practiced on a daily basis include, number one, chanting wealth verses from sacred ancient texts. One very powerful Bible verse is Deuteronomy 8.18. God gives the power to get wealth. Now, quiet repetition or chanting of Deuteronomy 8.18 is a good daily meditation practice. Now, this meditation is based on Proverbs 23.7. Number two, prayer, asking God for wisdom, followed by complete stillness and silence followed by another request for wisdom, followed again by stillness and silence. Now, this meditation is based on 1 Kings 3, 7 through 14. Number three, a special practice of calling attention to the divine presence by focusing upon a shaviti, a special Jewish artwork style that includes the tetragamaton, which helps induce a mystical state of consciousness. Now, this meditation is based on Psalms 16.8. Number four, focusing simply on deep breathing and gratitude for life. Yeah, sacred ancient text teaches that whoever has gratitude will be given more. And they will have an abundance by focusing on the simple blessing of having the breath of life. You can receive more. Now, this meditation is based on Matthew 13.12. Number five, setting an intention to become wealthy and sitting silently with it, based on Proverbs 4.23. By sitting silently with that intention, you allow ideas to come to you or what actions to implement to uh, make that intention an accomplishment. Number six, guided wealth visualizations and focusing on an image of one's desired state of wealth. And this meditation is based on Proverbs 4.23. Number seven, the profound method of meditating on the 72 names of God based on Exodus 14.19-21. It is a branch of the Kabbalah concerned with connecting with God, giving one the power that people connected with God should have 
as did all great spiritual leaders. Jesus states in Luke 10, 19 of the King James Bible, Behold, I give unto you power. The secret to why these wealth meditations taken from sacred ancient texts really work is that they all include some form of repetition and keeping God in consciousness during meditation. Repetitive meditations based on science, and we already know that with enough repetition, behaviors become automatic. Driving and riding a bike are examples of uh, complicated behaviors that we do automatically because neural pathways have formed. Now, as you practice wealth meditations, you are training your brain to create new neural pathways related to wealth creation. Mm. With repetition, the pathways get stronger until the desired outcome is the new normal. God's presence is often not accessible to us unless we make a practice of cultivating that awareness through meditation. Psalm 16.8 of the ESV says, I have set the Lord always before me. The message is decoded in the Hophet Hayam. It is the duty of conscientious people to constantly reflect that God's glory fills the whole world. We are ever in His presence. You receive great revelations and ideas which originate from God when you are silent in meditation. However, once you have an idea, you must work at it. Talking about it, and telling people about it, about your great idea, will not produce wealth. The Tanakh wisely tells us, in all work there is profit, but mere talk produces only poverty. That's CJB, Proverbs 14, 23. Only through working diligently on your idea is it possible to achieve wealth. Good news. Now subscribe to our podcast and our YouTube channel.